Let's pray before we begin. Lord, please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your Son. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Psalm 131 Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor mine eyes lofty, neither do I exercise myself in great matters or in things too high for me. Surely I have behaved and quieted myself as a child that is weaned of his mother. My soul is even as a weaned child. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forever. Matthew Henry Commentary on Psalms chapter 131 The psalmist aimed at nothing high or great, but to be content in every condition God allotted. Humble saints cannot think so well of themselves as others think of them. The love of God reigning in the heart will subdue self-love. Where there is a proud heart, there is commonly a proud look. To know God and our duty is learning sufficiently high for us. It is our wisdom not to meddle with that which does not belong to us. He was well reconciled to every condition the Lord placed him in. He had been as humble as a little child about the age of weaning, and as far from aiming at high things, as entirely at God's disposal, as the child at the disposal of the mother or nurse. We must become as little children. Matthew 18 verse 3 Our hearts are desirous of worldly things, cry for them and are fond of them. But by the grace of God, a soul that is made holy is weaned from these things. The child is cross and fretful while in the weaning, but in a day or two it cares no longer for milk, and it can bear stronger food. Thus does a converted soul quiet itself under the loss of what it loved, and disappointments in what it hoped for, and is easy whatever happens. When our condition is not to our mind, we must bring our mind to our condition. Then we are easy to ourselves and all about us. Then our souls are as a weaned child. And thus, the psalmist recommends confidence in God to all the Israel of God from his own experience. It is good to hope and quietly to wait for the salvation of the Lord under every trial. Please consider, how does this chapter apply to you? Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day. Hello, we are Mark and Pearl Lambert, and we are the ministers of Jesus Answers Prayers. If you like this ministry, please help support it. The link to donate is found in the description below. Thank you and God bless.